Hey, what is up, guys? Johnny Galaxy here, and today we're here with the part one of the walkthrough of Nostale. Uh, yeah, Nostale. Um, I I don't think you know what game it is because it's not the most popular game, but it was more most certainly one of my favorite games at back at the time where I was like I don't know, eleven years old, till for some month ago. Now the reason we have to create a character here. Wait, I'll explain you everything later. Uh, as you can see, you can make like a boy and a girl. You can change the hairstyle as you know. I brushed my hair and I, I did not brush my hairstyle. Yeah. Now we can change the hair color to um, all these most uncommon hair colors. I'm gonna go with blue because I mean, you know me. I, I think you've seen me without my cap. Anyway, his name. We have to give him a name, uh, so I think I'll go with the uh, no infinite. Great name, Condesa Valley card. Oh well, you see, I played always in the Spanish server, so there was no invalid character. Character is God damn it! That's right, boys. Uh, you won't find that user. As you can see, I have Riku here, which is another character, but we're gonna do the let's play with this one. Let's go. Well, that's cool. Uh, I do not know why I didn't have. What? What the hell? There was supposed to be an intro here? What the hell? Okay, guys, listen up. Here's the thing there was supposed to be like now a little cutscene right here where a woman called Mimi will come talk to me and then I will get assigned to a mission. Which I haven't been assi assigned, <laughs> and assigned to, for some weird reason. Oh, why does people like to make my life so much more? I think I, I think I'll have to restart this shit. Wait, I'll be right back. Yeah, now it worked for some really really weird reason. <laughs> I'm Mimi Mentor, one of the people that founded the village. It's lovely to meet you. It's my job to introduce new adventures to the village. Um, but there's no time to waste. Uh, yes, blah blah. blah. Uh, Curious to break out of the time space. Yeah, a little bit. I love to help you, but yes, and you can read that. You can pause it and read it if you want. To. Yeah, I actually love the music. I'm gonna turn it a little bit up. Like that, guys. Okay, what do I have to do now? You see, this game, let me explain you. What the hell was that? Why is this game so glitchy? Uh, I'm gonna explain you a little bit about the game, right? Well, basically, you. That's right. It's like uh, these classic RPG games, uh, action RPG games. I don't know how to explain it any better than that. It's like really basic. Right now, we're like a rookie. We're an adventurer. Later, we get to choose uh, if we want to be a mage, sword fighter, archer. 
and after that we can like why why is this not working? Yeah. After that we can get something called SP cards, which makes us much more cooler, like a red mage, uh, assassin. I'm getting ahead of myself. The point is, this is an action RPG. Okay, cool. Nostale has been here for like uh, ten and a half years. I like the music. It's kind of glitchy because, as you can see, there's like winter event. It's uh, going to be. It's going to be uh, Christmas soon. So I ha they have this sexy background music, right? Well, I'm skipping this text right now because it's kind of like intro, so you can... Well, I'm just gonna show you. You can catch a pet, right? You just punch him till he loses his life, like red or something like that, like a Pokemon style. Then it has the R to... Okay guys, next try, next chicken. You have to make him lose life, then you touch the R button, and then you captured him. That's right. Now it's your pet, okay? Always when you catch a pet, they always uh, like got reduced to level 1 no matter what level they are. Unless they're like really high, like level 30 or something like that, they'll just get reduced to, I don't know, 5. But they'll get really reduced of level. Uh, missions can be like, I don't know, killing, usually killing monsters. Like, yeah, stupid monsters. Going to uh, TSs that are like, kind of like missions, and uh, you don't get that many missions of capturing animals. For what I've seen, where's my chicken? Well, my chicken was supposed to follow me, but fuck my life, it's so extremely slow. This sexy music is annoying me, like that. No, I did not have to kill it. Okay, where it says hunt, wait, I can open here on the quest so you can see like the bigger version of the mission, hunt three weak seedle, right? You have to watch carefully because if it's a seedle, it's not gonna come, why, why is this dude attacking me? I haven't done anything to you! That's right, weak seedle. You have to, it's kind of boring now at the start, but later it ends up being a really interesting game, just so you guys know. Why am I doing a let's play of this game? I mean, um, a Walter. Not only because I mean I'm a pro and I played a lot of cool games, and I mean that's what I do for basically, that's my job. But uh, because I, I'd highly encourage you to play this game because it's such a good game. Uh, it's such a good game, and now it's even available at Steam and everything. I've been a fan of this game for like a good couple of years. I've been here almost since. It I've been playing this game since it was kind of like, you know, new and stuff like that, with my friend, friends. And yes, I had friends. Why don't I read out loud everything? Well, two things, two reasons. One, I have this background music which I love, but it's, it's basically impossible for me to talk with that music in the background. And second of all, I'm like this uh, dyslectiker. Uh, in, in English, I mean on Norwegian is... Dyslexia Dyslexia Dyslexic That's right boys, I'm a... Dyslexic Thank you, thank you Google! So I'm a dyslectic, right? And it's hard for me to read sometimes uh, I'm just gonna skip this because it's not that important Oh wait, yes it is. Great to see you, Mimi Mentor has told me a lot about you already. My name is Calvin Coach, I'll be teaching you all the skills you need to learn in your adventure, all that kind of stuff. Yes. You have to pay him and he'll give you like these abilities. Basically these abilities that you'll put here are... How do I say it? Is it <laughs> if you play RPGs, you know, the special attack, you buy it from him. And you also use profession, like you use job level, which is the level you are down here who, that gives you some points. It's a real complicated system at first, but you'll get used to it. I'm just gonna show you. Look, he'll give you this. Those are not attacks, those are just for your character skills and stuff like that. It only makes you a little bit stronger, like it's not real, it's not too important. 
Uh, what? Let me go here. Okay, there's so much I have to explain to you, and I have so little time, so it's kind of difficult. Huh, look, this is the armor, and this is the weapon, right? You have to get the strongest weapon, like level 4 weapon, wooden stick, high quality. High quality is better than normal quality, and good is obviously better also than normal. Uh, the higher level it is and the higher quality, the better it is, right? It's really important to, for you to have a strong armor and a strong weapon. No matter how small they are, and I mean, no matter how good the one you already have is, if you can find a better better one, just do it because it's gonna help you quite a lot. I have to hunt dander. I have to check that it's a dander and not a weak dander or anything like that. And I have to kill five of them. Now, meanwhile, I'll do this, I can go, exp I can start explaining you like the game. Basically, we will start playing as this rookie, as I call him, or the newbie. We'll just call him the newbie because it's like, you know, he's a noob. We'll start with the newbie and then after we get level 20 of job, which is acquired the same way as level, we'll be able to go change to magician, swordman, or archer. They're already, I mean, they're, ob they're obviously pretty different. Uh, but they're all cool in their own different ways You can make many cool stra strategies and tactics and stuff like that depending on which one you use And it'll dramatically affect your gameplay and the way you uh, Not the story, the story is the same but the way you play with your character, right? Too fast, feel free to just pause the video Like if you're gonna play this game I suggest you to play along while watching the video That's basically why I'm doing this uh, these are skills, the ones you use to kill the uh, monsters and all that kind of stuff. This one is the basic attack that we use when we just double click them. Or if you click, uh, left click and then like space, then you also attack automatically with the basic attack. But this is a special attack that I'll show you in no time. This is kind of just like a tutorial, they kind of like just showing you around and how to do things, stuff like that. I think I'll just present it to a couple of few more and then I'll end this uh, Walter and start with part 2. Yeah. Now these things right here, if I open the inventory, we have the equipment, we have the main stuff, and we have the etc. like everything else. Um, uh, he's like Malcolm can give us stuff like to teleport to other places like these ones. And stuff that I'll show you later in game. I'll also make, if you get really like engaged, I can show you if you feel like it, you can just tell me and I'll start making tutorials and stuff like that to this game because it's a really heavy game when you're a newbie. And there's nothing bad with being a newbie, no? When you start a game, you're always gonna be the new dude uh, who don't know how to do anything. And just for information! When I started playing this game, I did not know... Let me take that down. This is serious, okay? When I started this game, I did not know how to send messages. Okay, so it was really embarrassing. I want you to understand that. First things first, if you want to socialize and ask people, hey, how the hell do I do stuff? Touch, enter, and there you go. Down there, you type in everything you want, like... Uh, like, I don't know. That's right boys, that's how you do it, like a real boss. And you can also control like Alt and any button to make any face, like the Alt E, Alt R. If you don't want to remember that, you can just go to skills, right? This little book here, you go to motion and then you can find all these kind of small faces. You can also drag them down here to, I don't know, Q and you can just do like this, okay? It was just important for me to get that out of the way because I don't want you to struggle with communicating with other people 
on the game because that's kind of the most important thing of the game is to socialize with others so you can get their help. And since I already gone through this part, I already know everything they say. I played the game from scratch like more than literally 20 times. Uh, I'm not gonna stop to read it myself because it leaves too long time. I'm as I told you before, so I will not do it. Man, I forgot to tell you. Okay, as you can see up there, the mission conversation with Eva. If I can see the name. Just go here. You also have this thing that will show you this arrow that will show you where to go. So it's like not too hard. It's really hard to get lost in this game. Because, I mean, you'll always get a good hint to where you have to go. Joe Infinite, that's right. Okay, look guys, I do not want you to think that this game is all about this, about running around, doing errands and talking to old people. This is just the start, okay? This is just the beginning. So, I'll see you in the next episode where I think we'll get more killing and more interesting stuff and less annoying background music. Even though I love it, it's extremely annoying. So guys, I'll see you later in the part 2 of the Walter of Nostale. Hope you really enjoyed it, if it helped you, which, I mean... It's, the, it's a tutorial, I don't think you'll struggle with the tutorial, but I think I'll end this in an epic way.